strange weather, good mood. Thursday morning, after the World Championships of 2022 in Wollongong, and I'm in Sydney. Bit of blue sky, bit of cloud, bit of rain, bit of dry, <laughs> bit of everything. And uh, soon, holiday. Yeah, holiday, I'm going away with the family. And uh, this time I don't plan on breaking any ribs. <laughs> It's um, reasonably early in the morning, but it's not as early as I would have liked. I ended up sort of reading a few comments about a video I posted yesterday about my experiences with a certain sporting organisation at a certain sporting event. Anyway, thanks to everyone who's chimed in on that. I'll now just resume with my usual programming, and that is a little bit of, you know, random stuff about the things I think and see while I'm on the bike. Righto, there's an example. And now, I don't know where I'm going, don't know what I'm doing, but I'm pedaling my bike, and that makes me happy. And uh, that'll do for now. I was uncertain too, I didn't know if that was coming in my trajectory but it didn't and everything's good. So I feel like I'm overcompensating now, just sort of like, yeah, I am actually a happy guy. I don't just whinge and carry on and, and complain all the time. I don't, just sometimes I do. And people watch that, but they also watch when I'm being positive, I think. Curious to know what old talkbacks like in the Illawarra, you know, post world. If anyone's listening into Mel, on uh, the morning show. Uh, can you just chime in and let me know if it was positive or negative? Like, you know, the, the post-mortem, the, the overview, the, the review, rather than the preview. And now I'm here. I think I've spent more time at that intersection on a bicycle waiting for a green light than, well, other intersections. That's pretty, that's how I know Centennial Park to be. But then, that's new. That's not how I know it to be. Except for when it's, uh, there's about to be a concert. That's how it looks now. And I would say on the weekend, it's gonna be heaving with humanity and quite a, a lot of bass. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's where I am for now. Let's see, let's see. I feel like uh, I might just idle along the coast, maybe. Have a look at my beautiful city in a strange weather. And um, that'll do me. I don't think that's a deliberate pond, I think it's a puddle. All right, enough of this gibberish. Let's see if a theme for this ride develops. So, should we talk about the bike? I just did a couple of laps of Centennial Park and um, just sat in the drops. So let's get back to that bike review that I started before the Worlds. And I'll say, oh, that's the only bike I rode, is the Trek. Domani, upside down, the name. But, um, and I'm so, I really like it. I really, really like it, it's a great bike. So, um, I did, before the world, make a little video about talking about various elements of bike. I'll see if I can find that in my files. I've talked about this bike path before and I'll talk about it again because it's fantastic. Oh, the point about the laps of the park in the drops. Super comfy and I think that I'm, I'd like to say I'm pretty flexible can put my head on my knees with my legs straight. So I've got a little bit of elasticity in my body, but I don't mind being that little bit shorter now, as in, which is to say not a terribly long stem. That's a trend in mountain biking, but 
I don't know if I'm comfortable with it on roads so like, but whatever. It's happening. I don't know if it's a polar polarizing uh, effect of these sunglasses, but that looks unreal to me. All right, let's go and have another little bit of tourism out at the pool. And here's my little turnaround for this section of the ride. Oh, it's pretty lovely. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I do like Sydney sometimes, occasionally. So, I'm not all unhappy. I have another thing to talk about. Today marks the anniversary of a very, very, very sad moment in Australian cycling or sporting history. So I'm gonna to go to a nice quiet vantage point, take in the view and tell you more. So I parked it up and I've come to my little brekkie spot. Ta-da! Brekkie point, I call it. It's not really. Pastry spot, pastry point, I like that. Uh, let's do the craziness. Ready? Pink, pink. Ready? How's that hairdo? You like that one? Yeah. Uh, anyway. Gonna eat this first and then I'll get to the point. It's a pretty good spot just to um, reflect on something that's really important to me, something special. Someone special in fact and Excuse me, this might go long or it could just be come to a grinding halt because I won't be able to um, contain my emotions. So I'm going to give it a shot and I'll um, stop being cryptic. Today is the anniversary of Heiko Salzweedle's passing. There, I did it. Oh, I don't know how far I can go now because I'm going to start tearing up. He had a brain aneurysm a year ago and I uh, was sort of left on life support for a little while and then it, um, it didn't work out. Heiko, I miss you still. And I really do um, wish you were still here. I will say that without your contribution to Australian cycling, everything would be different. It was in 1991 that Heiko arrived in New South Wales to start doing some coaching work with the New South Wales Cycling Federation. And that evolved to the point where he became the head of road cycling in Australia. <sighs> I'd reached a halcyon time through the mid nineties. And then as the Sydney Olympics drew closer, he got heaved out of the organization, which was then known as Cycling Australia. And it was done in a most unceremonious fashion. And I'm not being political today. I'm just gonna say, Heiko, I dearly, dearly, dearly miss you. And um, I could really start, I could say a lot of things about you because it was you who had the vision and to, to, to dare to challenge the norm that had been in place. And that was that Australian road cyclists couldn't take on the best in the world in Europe. Up until your arrival, the focus of the national cycling program had long been track I love track cycling, and I know you did too. Your contributions to road and track cycling around the world were enormous, and your legacy is lasting. I want that to be said now, before I get all upset. I was fortunate to come to cycling in my working life when Heiko Salzweedle was involved, because we established a friendship he shared his vision with me and many others. And we worked together on a couple of fantastic initiatives. Those who have worked with him understand that he had his shortcomings, but he had a positive energy and a vision and a way of explaining things that few in Australian cycling have been able to do since. There's been a lot of amazing people involved in my sport in the time since you've gone in Australia. And things have evolved to the point where I know you'd be proud. 
I would have loved Heiko to have been here on the weekend and seen what came of road cycling in Australia. Oh, it would have, it would have made him proud and it makes me proud. A little over a year ago when I learned of Heiko's passing, I went to pieces and I couldn't express myself adequately. And the time will come where I'll explain the full legacy of his vision. But even now I get all worked up and un unable to explain the significance of his contributions. Let me just say it now while I sit here just sort of staring out at the beautiful Sydney Harbour. I miss you dearly and I know a lot of other people do and I'm still thinking of you and thanks for everything. And um, anyway, I'm not going to do a lot of posting in the next week because I'm, I'm on holiday with the family. So um, I'll gather some stories, I'm sure, when I'm away, but um, I'm just going to go a little bit quiet for a little while and it's not because of... Anything other than I just need a little pause from cycling and, um, and ride media for a while, I just need to take a break. It's been a big few weeks, been a big few months, been a big few years, been a confusing time. But uh, one thing I know for certain is that I love riding my bike. I set off today in a strange mood and I've cheered myself up and I've got a bit of exercise. I've seen some of the world, I've had a bit of bricky and I'm going back to the office now and I'll edit this video and I'll put it online. And to everyone who's chimed in in the last couple of weeks to say thanks, Rob, for what you do, I'm really grateful for those comments. I really get um, inspired by the uh, encouragement. And um, I'll say it again because I say it all the time, ride your bike, it's bloody unreal. And uh, I'll see you out there on the road and if you see me, say good day. Okay, thanks. See ya. Get back on that bike and go for a pedal. Yeah, get home. Okay, ripper. Never gets old. Still love it.